Tim P here with ABC Acres on beautiful Hamilton, Montana. And it's spring, the grass is growing, birds are chirping, and we're getting ready for summer. Uh, part of that process of getting ready is we got to prep our irrigation. So I'm going to take around the farm, show you what irrigation we use, and hopefully can uh, help you decide what kind would be helpful for you and your growing. So come on, let's check it out. First up with our irrigation tour, we have our drip irrigation. This is the most type of irrigation we have on the farm. We have it pretty much in all of our grow beds. Uh, this type of tubing is great. It's a quarter inch in diameter and it has a emitter every six inches. Each emitter put, has an output of about one gallon per hour. Uh, this is a great type of irrigation for very precise irrigation. Uh, you're not going to be spraying the entire bed, so you're going to minimize your weed growing as well as your fungus and mold uh, growth. You know, all the moisture is being kept at soil level, and it's very effective and uh, very precise. This is one of my favorite types of irrigation. All right, next we got our micro emitter sprinklers. These are great for a 360 degree sprinkler spray. Um, the ones that we have are five gallons per hour, and they uh, shoot. They have a diameter of about four feet. Um, these are great if you want to spray a larger area, um, and it's a softer spray too. It's not an impact sprinkler or anything like that. Uh, and they come in a large variety of diameter lengths as well as uh, gallons per hour. Uh, typically with trees, you want to have uh, 10 gallons per one inch uh, of diameter on the trunk of the tree. And if your tree is larger than 10 inches, you want to do 15 gallons per inch per hour. Another benefit to these is that you can see if something's going wrong. So if your uh, water pressure is on and water's flowing everywhere else, but for this one it's not, you can easily tell that there's a block in the system or a cut in the line or something like that. Something, something's not right. Uh, versus drip irrigation, you know, sometimes it could be covered with brush, it could be covered in soil. You can't always tell if, uh, if there's a block in the line or if the line's been damaged. All right, last we have our irrigation reels. These are used to irrigate our pastures. Uh, what they are is a, it's a large reel that has a bunch of tubing wrapped inside of it and at the end of the tubing is the irrigation gun. We use ATVs to unwind the reel and we turn the irrigation pumps on and the pressure from the pump supplies the power needed in the reel to wind it back in. It completely does it on its own. Um, it takes about eight hours for it to reel completely back in. Uh, and then after those eight hours, we pack it back up and move it onto the next pasture. And so it does that overnight. Uh, the gun pumps out at about 75 gallons per minute. And yeah, that's a, a great amount of water to get good saturation for our pastures. Well, that's just about it. I gotta get back to work. Gotta prep for summer. Summer's right around the corner. We got too much to do. So until next time, happy growing.